And we are live again with commentary. This is Miriam Ali. I'm Callum Oaks. We're here to do some English commentary for you guys because the uh, Austrian Federation wanted to bring in some English commentary for the international viewers. So you're kind of stuck with us. Hope we're, hope we're entertaining. Yeah, we have a real spectacle. A semi-final of the Open Doubles event of the Galando World Series between Benjamin Vilfort and Daniel Bermettler and Thomas Haas and Philip Kuchera. It promises to be a fantastic match of foosball. Yeah, I'm excited. We've got all Austrian team against Thomas and Philip. Thomas and Philip have played together a lot before, and uh, Daniel Bermettler is an upcoming star, really, in the uh, in the ranks of Austrian foosball, especially as a defender, as two bar is superb. So I'm uh, really looking forward to seeing what happens in this match. Yeah, and he's he's playing with the established <laughs> Benny. Um, so I think they're I think they're a really good team, and I think that's why they made it here. And I feel like you're on the opposite spectrum, you've got <laughs> Thomas Haas and Philip Kuchera. Philip has a very fun game. Mm. Yeah, was it ben Benjamin Belfort and Daniel Bowman coming off a really good win against Kevin and Matthias in the last round? So yeah. here we go. Here we go. They look pumped. Philip with a quick pass attempt. Bermettler with the ball. Oh, beautiful pass by Bermettler to Vilfurt. Now is the time to come to the shop and buy one. Thomas with the block, but Vilfurt will have another chance here to open up this opening game. And he does, with a push side. Mm. Yeah, is there Benny at the start? He likes to send the ball off, just slightly off center, but brought the ball over to the near side and opened himself up the push nice. Philip here took more time, was able to get this possession, try to tie it up for his team. Good block there by Bermettler. See Philip taking a lot of time there. He has a reset a couple of times. I don't know whether that put him. Don't know whether that put him off his shot or not, but I think it had some effect on his execution. Oh, the ball rolls off of Vilfert's three bar. Haas sets it up. Nice grab by Haas. But a quick turnover to Vilfert. Has a chance to widen the lead here. And a timeout. Yeah, early, early game timeout by Benny here. I've often seen used by him in, uh, in previous tournaments. Yeah, I think it's smart. It's very smart. You can see him looking at the pull side. His pull side is so smooth. I'd expect him to look at it again. Uh, if I had to, if I was a betting man, I would say that he hits it this time. See, we'll see what Thomas does to try and shut this down. You see, he likes to set the ball just off centre, just to give him a little bit more of the the pull side to look at. He did go pull. Callum was right. Should have should have put some money down on that. <laughs> Philip here with a chance to tie it up. He rocks it so energetically. Yeah, Daniel's doing a really good job of trying to take away the straights that Philip's looking at early on. I think what Philip's trying to do is trying to establish the straights early doors so he can really exploit the corners later on in the game. Beautiful pass again by Bermelo. 
Did the quick pull side. Yeah. That's the pull side we were talking about before. It's so smooth, so, so long. Philip with a cut between. It's now 2 1 in game number one. Yeah, he did, he did well to open that up for himself. If if he didn't hit that fake, I don't think there would have been a gap there at all. Daniel's doing a really good job of taking his options away that Philip's obviously looking for. He's, uh, he's playing really smart defense at the minute. We have a call here. It's an adjustment call that's being made by the referee on the pass mm -hmm. by referee Mario Binder. The call is an adjustment from Benny. And the ball will be awarded to Philip Kuchera on the five bar because of the adjustment. Oh, he awarded to Benny on the five bar. Kuchera with the steal. He has a chance here to tie it up. And <laughs> goes for a, a quick straight, but Vermettler is there. Oh, nice crisp lane by Kuchera. You see, Philip is uh, he, he's doing a good job of setting himself up the longs, especially the push side, because he sets himself so far up to the push side. He gives himself a lot of pull to look at, and it obviously oftentimes puts defenders off. And Vilford here with a, another time out at 2-2. I've, I've been really impressed with the way that Daniel Bermel has approached this game so far. He's really, really leaned into what Philip's trying to do. I think what Philip is trying to do is set himself up for longs later on in the game, but Daniel's just not letting him have that at all. He's got the one push side, but he's done a really, really good job of shutting that down so far. Quick straight by Benny. Gives his team the lead, it's now 3-2. Yeah, a real nice tap fake to get Thomas off that center hole. Kuchera with a timeout. Let's see if Philip tries to readjust his thinking a little bit here. He's looked inside for a lot of the shots he's hit so far. I'm sure that's what Thomas will be saying to him now, is to, to look at the longs a little bit more. Probably towards the push side because Daniel's leaving that slightly more because of the way he's set up. We'll see whether that factors into the thinking when he goes into this next shot. Vermetlin with another block. Yeah, he's really making the difference for his team because Philip has had chances. for a chance to widen the lead. Thomas with the block. You really have two great defenders here and strong two bars on the table. Yeah. Although I don't think... 
think I've ever seen Thomas do a pinch shot before. <laughs> no, I don't know. Both defenders are doing a really good job of clearing the zone. It's giving both forwards a really good opportunity to make their mark on this first game. Thomas with a beautiful pull shot. <laughs> My word. That is all the way out there. Wow. That's a thing of beauty. If you're going to tie it up, you got to tie it up with flair. <laughs> Handsome. Frankly. <laughs> Let's see if Vermetler answers. Mettler spray, spray that bit wide of the goal. Pop back into his own goal. You know, the only thing really splitting these two teams so far in this first game is the one goal that Thomas has scored from the two bar. Other than that, the, the both teams are really evenly matched so far. So... Vermettler's the youngest person on this table, at this table. Do you think he, do you think there's some ego here with him answering Thomas instead of passing? I, I don't think so. Daniel's a really, really smart player. He's a, I, I watched him last year in the late Challenger Finals as well and other Austrian tournaments that were held on and he's just a very, very, very good player. He can hold his own with any of the players on this table. Kuchera calls their second timeout. So both teams now out of timeouts. Uh, it was a good call by Kuchera. One, because Bermettler's been blocking him well, and two, because this is a chance to put this game away. It's been a very evenly contested first game. Re the only real difference is that, well, obviously the a bit unlucky with the, the pull kick that was spread wide by Daniel and the one goal that Thomas has scored from a two bar. But apart from those, it's been a really, really evenly contested first game and this this could still go either way. Great block by Bermettler. Uh, Philip cut that back. I think he meant to go to the long hole and cut it back by accident. Looked like it was there. Stand corrected. Lucky block by Bermettler. <laughs> nice so shot fantastic back. job of clearing the zone there. Makes the block. Clears the zone and gives Benny a possession to make it 4-4. Philip drops his pass. A pull shot just wide, <laughs> rims off the post and hops off the table. This is it's inches away from giving his team the first game. Inches, millimeters. Millimeters. <laughs> right, we talked about whether he could hold his own with these players. He's making some incredible decisions. Oh, Thomas just, just barely wide of the goal with that one.
there it is. We talked about it before what Philip was trying to do where he was opening up, opening up the push side for himself. He tried that the first time, but cut it back slightly with the Daniel blocked, but this time smoothly to the long push and wins the first game for his team, but shoo, there was a couple of times when <laughs> either team could have won that from the two bar. Daniel yes. got really close. And we see here the long, the long pull that Thomas shot to, make, to give his team even footing in this game. He's doing a lot of work. Yeah, and he was so, again, millimeters from scoring a second one. Yeah. I mean, he, my, both teams had chances in the two bar. Both yeah. teams. And we said before this match that it was going to be a bit of a spectacle, and we're, we're getting one here on table number one here at the Garland of World Championship Series. So with uh, with Thomas and Philip leading 1-0 going into the second game, do you think Daniel and Benjamin will have to make any adjustments going into the second game? You know, like I Daniel's clearing really well. Um, and with those with those shot attempts that were so close to scoring, it's not clear to me that there's there's anything to change yet. I agree. It was, the first game was so tight, it could have gone either way. We saw millimeters to either team would have put. Oh, nice steal by Vilfurt. Thomas with the block. Nice pass by Haas. Up to Kuchera. Mm. Oh, that was nice. Yeah, really Long nice. Long pull side. Just a, just a little tap to slightly flinch Daniel off that hole, and then he took the pull. Thomas is slightly doing a really good job at the early side in this game. He baited Benny for all sorts of straight, and then flinched the push just as he was about to shoot. Thomas does a, sh a, a short attempt. Misses the goal. Yeah, just off the post again. It's just the fine margins between these teams. Oh, that was beautiful. God, that was fast. <laughs> I have a feeling that's not the only goal Bermetler's going to score the rest of this match. <laughs> Maybe not this game. <laughs> His two bar is phenomenal. Mm. I remember seeing it last year. It's so good, so fast. <laughs> thanks for, thanks for uh, posting in the chat, people. Hello, Daniel Zorger. I'm sorry for whoever hates rollovers. I think they're pretty fun to watch, to be honest. And Phillips is very animated. Walks it a bit. Kind of, kind of fanned on there for a little bit. Tries to go back down the middle. Daniel was there anyway, but cut it back to the push side. Vilfort again with the early timeout. 
Yeah, saw this in the first game. I see Benny looking at his options here. Again, the way the way that his uh, he's got, I think he's got the smoothest, fastest bullseye on Galindo. Goes push this time. <laughs> we have Thomas setting up a pull. Of course, Thomas is famous for his push series, um, but. So uh, people have studied it. People have studied it. So he's um, he's been setting up full series a lot this year, um, mixing it up. That was a beautiful shot. Just <laughs> again, brimmed off, brimmed off both posts and came straight back to Benny's three. Like he's got a half a millimeter. <laughs> half a millimeter. He's got a chance to go up, and he does. He takes it. Thomas leaves him loads of straight. Benny's not been taking it so far. He faked back to the push side and came right back down the middle. That's a really intelligent shot by Benny there. That was a nice smooth lane by Philip Cuchera. Timeout by Kuchera. I feel trolled right now by Tuan, mm. but he's not wrong. So apologies if I end up in a giggle fit. It's, it, it's bound to happen at some point, especially tired from the tournament. <laughs> Gonna get the giggles at some point. It's not my fault. Probably will be. <laughs> Phil has put it back into play here. Oh, Thomas has put it back into play. He's come back up forward. Resets, looks to the pull side, off the post. Yeah, interesting switch. Oh. oh, nice grab by Haas there. Quick shot attempt, but Bermetler was ready. Yeah, Thomas always looks to be shooting quickly from his three bar. Identifies gaps so quick. Oh, crack. Damn, but two bar is something. That was like a hammer. <laughs> oh, nice middleman pass by Vilfert. You see how much straight that Philip Cuchero was giving Benny there. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Weighed out and took the push. Mettler, another hammer, this one off the table. Yeah, he, he, he cut that back slightly towards the towards the push side of the table. Rimmed off. Phillips near man on the fire bar and off. Thomas will put it back into play. Oh, just barely, just barely missed the goal with that one, but good chair there to pick it up. Oh, and a nice save by Burmettler. Yeah, and Dana did a really good job of... It looks like he's baiting Philip for the straights early on and then showing it down. He's got his timing down so well that when he shuts the, when he shuts the hole off, that oh, the time is just beautiful. Smooth chop wall by Benny. He takes that smooth pull side we've been talking about. Callum, do you think this game would be going differently if Vilfert and Bermedler hadn't just won against the reigning champs? Well, sure. It's obviously 
as Thomas takes a, a quick three quarter a three quarter push there. It's a nice shot, especially if you want to get the defender to race off. Uh, but it's a good, it's a good question. Um, Kevin's obviously renowned for his Garlanda play. As we say that, <laughs> Benjamin quickly passes and quickly scores like it's nothing. Like makes it's it nothing. makes it one all. But as we were saying, Kevin obviously is known for his Garlanda play. And Yeah, as we were saying, uh, Kevin obviously singles winner this weekend and such a good Garlando player. He's been a he's been at the top of the Garlando game for the best part of 15 years, and to come off being him and Matthias Schoff is also an incredible goalie, incredible shooting goalie. It takes a mental toll, and for them to come and do this and then play a team like Philip and Thomas who want to play quickly. I want to get the match going. It's mentally, it's challenging to put yourself back in that situation because Kevin is obviously a very, very quick player as well. Um, yeah, to go through that again, I'm very impressed with how Benjamin and Daniel are handling this game so far. They're playing to their own tempo and they've won the second game because of that in quite a dominant fashion as well. Thank you for the inside. Yeah, it definitely feels like the tide has turned, like this this second game. I just wish to the game number three. Philip has his pass quickly stolen by Benny. Looks to go wall. Blocked by Philip. Wall again, successful this time. It's excellent work by Thomas. Oh, another great block by Thomas, and then a quick turnover. Classic Benjamin Roll for early game timeout. I, I'm really enjoying watching how Thomas is switching into the near man as well. He's uh, he's baiting him. He's, he looks like he's want, he wants Benny to shoot the pull side early, like he has done a couple of times, and then switching in the near man on the two bar to block that. The mind games of Benny shooting. There we go again. Partially blocked by Philip on the three bar. Comes to Benny on the five. Quick pass to the wall. Lovely chop wall. Oh. Angled pin shot, which I'm almost certain that Benny didn't mean. <laughs> A flip over by Benny to the pull side. Oh, oh great save by Haas there. Yeah, Philip's, Philip's pass blocked by. Benny all the way back onto the post and just nudged over the uh, edge of the table by Thomas because they were having a discussion. A discussion about whether the ball should be put back into play. It looks like he's going to the two bar of Daniel Burmella. It's a dangerous place for that ball to be. Shot on goal blocked by Thomas. Another quick shot by Thomas. Quick rolling pull shot. Battle of the goalies right now. It's not often that you see goalie wars and, and open doubles. It's always the scariest places for these. Again, what about the goalkeeper of Daniel Bermela this time? 
finally up, up off the table. So as good as a clear, you could say. Back to Thomas on the two bar. Quick pass attempt. A sliding short push, short pull shot off the post. Let's talk about how good Daniel Petrovic's two bar is. We are seeing it here and now in spades. Thomas now setting up the push. Pepper Medler there, ready for it. Finally, the ball goes through to Benny on the three bar. Sent off slightly off center. Oh, again. Hits the pull side snake, but cuts it back. I'm fairly sure that Thomas won't be happy with that again. Looked like he was there. Pass blocked by Villefort. Looks for the wall. Must be looking wall again. He does. Set up in snake position. Oh. <laughs> Splits the other side. Execute a couple of pull sides. We thought Thomas was uh, was going to come into the pull side early on and hit the short push. I think Thomas was thinking the same thing, but not quite there. Pull shot stubbed by Thomas to the three bar of Benjamin Volfort. There's a chance to put, chance to put his team falling up and he does. Thomas coming in all the way to the dead man and Benny drilling the inside shot there. Quick pass attempts from both teams. Benny squeaking the lane pass through but not able to collect and Thomas will try and clear this with a pinch shot. Does to his does to Phillips five bar. Lane pass. Just about collected by Philip. Quick push side. Tapped and really froze Daniel here. And just drilling the open hole that Daniel left there. And more by Benjamin Wilford, who has a chance. To give his team a 2 1 lead is blocked by F Thomas all the way to Philip. Goes into a rolling tic tac, tries to hit the short dink. And wall again. Benjamin still has a timeout remaining here. And he takes it. So 4 1, four -one to Benjamin and Daniel here in game number three. Benny has a chance on a three bar to give his team a 2-1 lead going into what would be a really important fourth game for both teams. And Benjamin and Daniel really been in the, in the ascendancy so far. Yeah. Saw Thomas there giving, uh, giving Philip pep talk, like a good goalie should do. And Philford here putting it back into play. Philip squeezing his lane pass through here. Says so him in snake shot position. Tries to flick it to the far side. Slingshot off the five bar. Collected by Daniel. He'll set up in pull shot position. Yeah! Oh my god, that was beautiful. See the replay. Oh. Squares that he squares that off so beautifully to the short side. Thomas raising him all the way out, but so beautifully executed. And again, we were talking earlier on about whether Daniel Ben met like a hand with the, with the big boys, and he's proven it time and time again. What a shot that was, my word. Yeah, I think... I think he might... He might be MVP. He might be MVP. What do you think? I mean, so far he's doing everything right. 
you see Benny's playing really solid. He's getting, oh, he's had so many possessions. Thomas is doing a good job of keeping his team in this game with the amount of possessions that Benjamin Volfort's had. But he's come up clutch with a couple of absolute rockets from the two bar. Goodness me. We're going into game number four. High lane by Philip. Comes back to his five bar. Vilfort stealing the wall pass here. Tries to go wall again. Ooh. <laughs> Philip makes him go lane. He's unable to hold on to it, but he gets a chance here now to open up game number four. Five, four, four. four. Goodness. Another early timeout. Uh, Daniel Zorga has asked, how has the tournament been for you guys? Well, we're commentating now and not playing, so. <laughs> Tells you a little something. Uh, but it's been fun, always. It's one of my favorite tournaments, I think. Yeah, the Austrian Federation's done a really good job with it. This tournament's been an absolute pleasure to play in, I'm sure for all players, as we watch Benjamin Wolfhard put this ball back into play, looking for an early lead. Blocked by Thomas to the short push. Looks to go short himself, but is blocked to the three by Benjamin Volfort. So a little fake straight. Thomas not happy with that. Thomas with a big defensive series for his team here. Keeping them in it at 0 0 here in the fourth game. 2 1 to Benjamin Villefort and Daniel Burmetler. Obviously, we've already seen Benjamin Villefort's taken one timeout for his team. And Daniel Burmetler again looking for the pass down the outside wall, but off of Benjamin Villefort's man and into the goal. Philip setting up, trying to even this game up at 1 1. Let's see. We see again Daniel Bummella giving him loads of the push side. We said early on that Philip likes to set the ball up off center. Pass taken away here by Philip Cuchero. Has a possession to give his team a 2 1 lead. That's a beautiful runner lane. Really, really steep. This time Daniel on the push side. Gonna set the ball up. Watch out, everybody. I'll get another chance here. Off the inside post. Philip's going to pick this one up on the five. Philip able to squeak this one through here. Has another chance to take the lead. Oh, Bermeller with another block almost up <laughs> into the air and to his forward. Yeah, we're going to get. It looked like we were going to get a call there because of the, uh, yeah, not given, but the ball goes back into play. Thomas is going to pick this one up on his two bar. Sliding pull shot to the middle, blocked by the goalkeeper of Daniel Bermetla. Long square pull shot, blocked by Philip Cuchera, back to Daniel. Looking for the pass this time. Not successful. Oh. Then we see it. We see it again. Oh my this God. short square. Oh, he tucks that so neatly. We can see, see Thomas top. just just racing it a little bit too far. Time is so good. All he had to do was flinch, and that thing was in. God, that was fast. Oh, it's incredible to watch. A 
Rolling long, blocked by Philip this time. Chance to even it up. And he does. Rattles that one in. <laughs> the pull side he that he looked to hit, I think was blocked, but rattled in anyway. And it's 2-2 here. You might hear some fun uh, background noises because the women's third place playoff is happening on table number three right now. Oh. <laughs> but the yelling isn't louder than the sound of that shot. Beautiful <laughs> spray by Thomas Haas to tie it up 2-2 in game at number four. Sorry, to go and take the lead, 3-2 in game number four. And Kuchera now with a chance to widen the lead. Yeah, we see Daniel Rare in the reverse when Thomas had the pull side and it split his men. Looked like it took a little bit of a nick off Phillips three bar, but the team of the team of Thomas and Philip will take that nonetheless. Philip with a chance to give his team a two goal lead, put himself four two up and give himself a really strong chance of taking this fourth game and forcing a game five. He takes that push side again. Daniel just, just, just shifting off that. And Philip timed it so well with his near man, the near man of Daniel's two bar just flinching off. Vinny here with a nice lane, nice hard lane. Oh, and a split. <laughs> it's now 4 3. Yeah, Thomas was. Fully committed to the straight. I don't think it looked like he was looking for any sort of movement, but Benny expertly timed his way through that. Philip to give his team a fifth game. Blocked. Looking for the straights as he did early on in this match. Daniel Bermetler there. Will set the ball up in pull shot position. Blocked by Thomas, but to Benjamin Vilfort, who gets a chance to level this game up at four. Quick chat with the ref, but nothing doing. Mario Bender happy with how things have gone, and we'll put this ball back into play. Ready, waiting. Looking for the pull side, Thomas was there. So it's up in pull shot position. Picked up by Benjamin Vilfort on the five bar. Quick lane, blocked by Philip. Benjamin, waiting. Looking for the wall he's been really successful with across the middle part of this match. Blocked by Philip to the two bar of Daniel Blumet. There has been really dangerous and puts another shot on goal. Gets another chance. Resets. Another shot on goal, blocked again by Thomas. Really trusting the zone. <laughs> nice run of lane by Philip. Again, has a chance to take us into a fifth, a fifth set. Push side. Blocked again by Daniel Bermetler. What a job he's doing here in the fourth game. He's giving Benjamin Volfort, his partner, every chance of even in this fourth game up. Passed down the wall. Benjamin just flinched off. Looked like it was blocked partially by the five bar of Philip Kuchera. I'm gonna get a jar call here. Benjamin Volfort will be awarded the ball on the three bar. Another chance for him to even the match up at four and give his team a match point. Takes a time out here, recognizing what an important point this is for his team. If he was to get this, it'd force a 4-4 in the fourth with obviously his team having the match point and it puts a lot of
pressure on Philip then to be able to pass and score with his next possession. Yeah, let's see if see if Thomas can hold him off and uh, keep the pressure off of Philip. And he does. Thomas here setting up pull shot. Patient. Oh, Thomas <laughs> masterfully saving that one. No! Oh, and scoring short pull shot for this fourth game. Yeah, the, the shot we've seen Daniel be so successful with in the last couple of games. Thomas has is, is just said, well, if anything you can do. <laughs> and we're going to a fifth. And for those asking, yes, the final will also be this evening. The match after this one will be the women's doubles final. The open doubles final will be played tonight. As we go into this fifth, who knows what's going to happen? It's been a great game so far. I feel like the defenders have had the major say in this game so far. and Daniel and Thomas scoring the way they have. Both teams have been blocked really, really well. If either forward can catch fire in this fifth, then we could see this game go either way. Yeah, absolutely. We always love a fifth game. Just, you know, the extra drama. <laughs> we'll love to see it. Uh, Vilfert, smart. He's making sure <laughs> making sure this this lane is uh is ready because he knows. Okay, Phillips on my Phillips on my wall pass. I gotta be able to hit this and catch it every time if, when I need it. I don't know how much this is mind games, do you? <laughs> Could be mind games. Warming up the lane. So I'm just gonna go wall every other time now. Team Austria receiving some support from the rafters. And it'll be Benjamin Vilford that puts us into play here in the fifth set. Goes to the wall, blocked by Philip, almost catches it on the three bar, but not quite. Through the lane, crisply. See if he takes a timeout on nil-nil here. He doesn't. Taps to the push side. Blocked by Thomas. Really intelligent block by Thomas. And he takes the short push this time. That was so smooth. Oh my god. That's a beautiful chip up by Philip. Really. Oh. Oh. Properly committed. Properly committed Benjamin, Benjamin to the wall and then really, really incisive pull pin to the, uh, to the short side that Daniel left, coming all the way to the dead man there. Benjamin puts it back into play, sets over a snake position to give his team a 2-1 lead. Takes his time, tries to go to the push, but Thomas is there. Still giving him lots of straight, it feels like. Shot attempt, rattles to Philip, who quickly converts. Seen an explosion of goals in the in the fifth set so far. You know, this this was a goalies game, but the forwards have stepped up this time. <laughs> Thomas said no. Oh. <laughs> Pull shot slightly makes it executed, but cleared nonetheless by Thomas and Daniel put the ball back into play with his. Team trailing 2-1 here in the fifth. Set up another shot on goal. Sooner or later, you've got to feel that Daniel Bermet is going to score another one from the two bar. He's putting so many impressive shots on goal, but Benjamin Wilford, his, his partner, is looking to score some goals of his own. Walking the ball. And 
onto the pull side, but Thomas is there again. Pull shot down the middle, blocked by Daniel Burnmiller. I'm very impressed that he was able to contain that. They had, they had some spice behind it, and he was, he, wow. Thomas is doing a really good job of um, keeping the pressure off of Philip, keeping, helping them maintain their lead. Philip here with a chance to widen that lead. Let's see if he takes it. <laughs> yeah. We see this happen a couple of times, the, the little tap that Philip's trying. Daniel Bermet has just jumped to the pull side both times, blocked both times. But the zone that Philip and Thomas have showed so far is, has been nothing short of phenomenal, really. It's given them so many possessions. That one blocked by Philip, but shoots to the five bar of Benjamin Ilfo anyway, who has his pass blocked back to Thomas Haas on the two bar. Scuffs his shot into a, what looks like a beautiful pass to Philip Cruchera's three bar. He's had a chance to go up 3-1 in the fifth. That was a very beautiful accidental pass. <laughs> You should practice that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Pretend to do a shot. Fake, fake for the pass. I like it. Option. You see, Phillips recognized how important this point is to give his team a two goal lead in the fifth set. This gives him, if, he, if, if they were to get this point, it gives him a really good platform to go on and win the match from here. Puts it back into play. Goes to the push side, but Daniel Burmettler is there. Reading his intentions. Sets the ball up, blocked by the five bar of Philip Cuchero. Dan has been dangerous from back here. Fans on that one, but gets the ball back. Long pull shot blocked by Thomas. I thought that was in. I really thought that was in. <laughs> Thomas doing a really good job of getting back there. Yeah, and he, he, that was a nice uh, pass attempt to Philip too. Uh, Philip didn't quite connect. Shot again by Daniel Bermel on goal, rebounded to Benjamin Vilfort. Has a chance to pull his team back level. Takes a time out. We are. 2-1 to Philip Cuchera and Thomas Haas in the fifth game. I really like Benny's style of these early game timeouts. They seem to work for him. As you say that, <laughs> it takes a quick shot on the side, which Thomas is there for again. Clears the zone, just wide of the goal, and Daniel Burmettler will put the ball back into play on his two bar. Fakes. Looks for the pass, blocked by Philip. So the pass again, contained by Thomas in the two bar zone. Thomas picks up the ball, <laughs> clean it off. Oh, Benny with the steal. Oh, that was pretty. Wow. <laughs> Time that shot beautifully, just as Thomas was bobbing off the pull side. Executed a long pull shot. Beautifully done. Stolen by Benjamin Vilfort here. See, Philip had a shot to go 3 1 up. Ball stolen by Thomas here, though. Pull shot on goal, blocked by Daniel Bermeller. And he looks for the lane, was there. But 
Ball shot on goal again by Thomas. Blocked again by Daniel Bermeo. You see that again. Pull shot down the middle, split in the middle. Thomas, oh, it's so, so good. This, the precision of Daniel Bonnet is too bad. We've said it time and time again during this match. He's come up so clutch with points during this game. He's given his partner a really big platform. And he's got the ball on two bar again. Blocked by Philip this time. Long pull shot off the crossbar, it looks like. Of his own crossbar. I think we're looking at a possibly if it going out of bounds. But I don't think it was. It wasn't. And we're going to put the ball back into play where it was. Pass off of Benjamin Volfort's man. Can't keep it. High lane by Philip Cuchera, who has a chance to even it up. Takes his second time out. I've seen some, some Garlando being played here. Some of the two bar shots have been, I'll say, a bit good. <laughs> this unreal. That's that's the word that I was thinking. Unreal. Bermet the power behind Bermetlo's shots. <laughs> and the way the, the goalies have just been trading back and forth so much, too. Kachera. Oh, squeaks it in. Tie it up at 3-3. <laughs> it's not a pretty goal, but it's a, t it's a goal that Philip and Thomas will take. And Benjamin will put the ball back into play. Looking wall, I suspect. Does look wall. Sets it up just off centre. See if he looks for the push side here this time. He's hit pull a couple of times before. Looks for pull again. Blocked by Philip. All the way back to Daniel Bermetler, and we know what can happen here. Shot to the short side. Blocked by the five bar. Up and off the table, and Thomas will put it back into play. Squeezes that effort up the table. A bit fortunate to get that one through all of the players. Shot blocked by Philip to the five bar. Benjamin Vilfort. He takes the wall again. <laughs> so it looks like it was. Oh, it's a beautiful shot. Thomas can commit into the push side there. We know how good Benjamin Vilfort's pull side's been all game. It's now championship point for Vilfort and. Match point <laughs> for <laughs> Philford and Bermetler. Daniel Bermetler has a ball on the two bar. Match point, looking to send his team into the final of the Garanda World Series. Shot through off the back wall, picked up by Thomas Haas. Shot down the middle, blocked by the middle man on Benjamin Wolfwatt's five bar. It's back into the hands of Daniel Bermeller, who has been fairly fantastic with his two bar so far. Pass through to Benjamin Wolfwatt, who has a timeout remaining and a match point. Richard Marsh, table number two. Women's final, He takes his timeout with a match point to send his team through to the final of the Galanda World Series. And it's another smart play by Daniel Bermet that has brought them there. Seen him hit a couple of big, big shots, but this time the lane pass. Philip Cuchera maybe thought he was going to go for the big shot, but slides his pass down the lane. And here we go. Benjamin Wilfo puts the ball back into play with a match point. Locked by Thomas to the push side. Showing him a little off straight again. Push attempt blocked all the way back to Daniel Bermetler. Oh. Wow! Wow! And Bermetler, Bermetler closes it out. 
It was even incredibly fast in a slow replay. Oh my god. We see from the replay, Thomas jumped all the way. He knows how dangerous his two bar is. Jumped all the way out to the, to the long pole, tucks it back inside, but the speed and the way he disguises his shot, is, oh, it's a beautiful shot. And he came up clutch time and time and time again. I've got to say, ah, for me, he's, he's MVP of this game. The way he's defended, the way he's passed, the way he's shot. My goodness. We have, we have some player in the making here. Not long, not long been a junior, Daniel Bermemeller is putting up some serious performances in the open division here with partner Benjamin Vulfort, who move on to the final after a tense five-match series with Philip Gutierrez and Thomas Haas.